The Digital Scene Show is sponsored by NewMediaWebinars.com. Free how-to webinars for digital media creators taught by industry professionals. Check us out at NewMediaWebinars.com. Francesco, welcome to the Digital Scene Show here at NAB 2010. Thank you. And you are with uh, Matrix? Matrix. And uh, tell us a little bit about Matrix, or and specifically you've got something about uh, um, speeding up by H.264 encoding? Yeah, in fact, if you take a look at who Matrix is, we're uh, effectively a hardware manufacturer for creative professionals. And just like the you know other people in our industry, we focus on input and output, the thing, but the thing that really differentiates Matrox is the fact that we also took into account the delivery portion of an editing workflow. So what that means is that the H.264 acceleration is something that's key because no matter whether uh, people are demanding their footage on the web, mobile devices, or uh, Blu-ray, you know, that is becoming um, something that the creative professional has to be aware of because it's actually going to take a lot of cycles away from their creativity. So what we did is in our input and output devices, we introduced last year our Matrox Max technology, which effectively accelerates the delivery of H.264 files, whether it be for web, mobile, or Blu-ray. And that is very important. This year... Now, I'm sorry to interrupt you. So is this a, a, a hardware video card that you plug in? It's actually a, 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 a box. So it's a box. So it works on both uh, desktops and mobile it's and a, laptops. Correct. It's laptop, desktop, PC, uh, and Mac. So we not only accelerate compressor on a Mac, we also accelerate other applications like Telestream episode, um, Strunz and Squeeze. Right. Uh, and at this show, what we're doing is we're showing our Max 2.0 technology. And Max 2.0 is effectively uh, increased quality and increased speed. So even though we were you know, blowing away great numbers, an example that I use a lot at Final Cut Pro user group meetings is that we start with a 30 second clip, ProRes full 1920-1080 ProRes clip, and I ask it to create an iPod file. You figure it'd be, it would be easy, it's a small file. Right. It would take three or four minutes to encode that without Max. When I flip on the Max technology, we actually take that 30 second clip and deliver it in 18 seconds. So twice as real time almost. Faster than real time. Right. And, and the key there is that, you know, who cares about the speed? Well, just think about it. It's not only speed and quality, but now instead of wasting that system, that creative professional's main tool for their craft, it's actually available because I'm doing the heavy lifting to continue editing, the editing process. And the more content our, our customers can create, the more they can earn, and that's the key. And what is this product? Uh, which one is it, the Max? It's Does all, it come on all the... Uh, it's an option that you could buy upon a time of purchase, whether you buy one of our, our input-output boxes with or without Max. And we're seeing a great attach rate on the Max technology because it just makes that, that much sense to everyone who's, who needs input and output. And that's where our big campaign throughout the year was, is that we're not just... Uh, I.O. We're more than just I.O. And what's the extra cost for the Max? It, so if you start off at our uh, our MX-02 Mini, it's a 449 input-output box. Right. If you want to buy that with Max, it's an 849 box. So it's a $400 premium to the input-output boxes. And then the step up to that would be the MX-02 LE at 995 or if you buy that with a Max, it would be thirteen ninety five. Now, is this something you have to do when you purchase it? Or yes. Can you? Okay. That's right. So it's like a chip, an extra chip. It's you a guys... chip that has to actually be built in. So you can't add it later. You cannot add it later, but if you do buy the box, the I.O. box, and uh, you want to take advantage of Max uh, later, uh, if you have a Mac Pro or a tower, you can actually buy a card that we call the Compress HD. And that actually could be the accelerant. You could buy that aftermarket. So you have the MX02 LE, for example, that was purchased just I.O. Add the Compress HD at 495, and now you have the ability to accelerate your H.264 deliverables. Now you mentioned uh, speed enhancement and quality. Now how, how is the quality dependent more on the encoding application? Or on the uh, on your on your card. Well, the quality, the the way that we actually enhance the quality is that we give the user the ability to actually tweak 
the encoding process. And what we did in this release of Max 2.0 is we allow someone to actually get in there and support variable bitrate. So which is very important to make sure that your quality is uh, and, and size of the overall uh, file uh, is maintained to maximize the quality and minimize the size, the variable bitrate adjustment was key. And the encoding applications will pick up the, uh, the box yeah. immediately? Correct. Automatically, there's nothing extra to do? No, and once you install the MXO2 devices with Max, they show up as Ma uh, Matrox Max presets. For example, in compressor, uh, okay. you have the Apple devices and right. Apple presets. You will see the Matrox Max presets, and we give you Blu-ray presets, uh, iPod presets. In fact, you can actually create your own preset with the Max and save it. So the key is you now start start using the Matrox presets versus, let's say, the built-in presets in episode. You wouldn't use those anymore. You'd use the Matrox ones. You, would, you can, however, use a Matrox uh, preset that mimics a Telestream episode uh, preset. Uh, but it, again, you always have to be in the Matrox Max environment to take advantage right. of our acceleration. Now, with Telestream, because we're a big Telestream user, they have the ability to use Telestream within Compressor. So is there an ability to use these um, the Telestream through compressor, through Matrox? I'm not sure, that's a okay. good question. All right, just thought I'd yeah. throw that out there. Okay, sounds good. If people want to find out more about Max and in general your stuff, where do they go? Go to our website, matrox.com slash video. All of our information is there. We have really cool testimonials, especially about Max technology. You can really learn about how your colleagues and peers in the industry are really using this technology to their benefit. Fantastic. Francesco, excellent to meet you. Thank you, Marcello. Same thing.